Rock Lobster, um, I remember um, Ricky, Cindy, lived in a house together, and um, I came over one afternoon, and Ricky was sitting on the edge of the bed with a guitar, and he was laughing. Just and I was going, "What's so funny?" I had walked in, and, and he said, "What's so funny?" And he said, "I just came up with the most stupid guitar riff you've ever heard." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, let's hear it. And he goes, no, 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 no. And I was just, yeah. I, I mean, it was brilliant. That's some kind of stupid genius. Yeah. I mean, but he had that sense of humor, too. And, you know, I mean, he he saw the humor in it. But it was, I mean, it was, it, what a riff, you know? Yeah. It's like, it. we were thinking, we were talking today how it, it had, almost has a Middle Eastern, the whole song has a, this kind of Middle Eastern sound to it, the, the organ and... Oh, well, Fred, you have a you uh, came up with a the lobster oh, motif. Uh, well, fish I, motif. for the for the lyrics I sing, I I, th I sort of wanted to, I sort of saw it as like a Lewis Carroll type uh, inspired because I was reading a lot of Edward Lear and Lewis Carroll and well, not a lot because he didn't write that much, but um, I just saw it as a Ed Lewis Carroll type thing where things just get crazier and crazier. It's like a crazy scene down in the ocean and I don't know I guess bikini whales or you know you see them on the beach and uh, I always heard when I was a kid you'd always hear they had commercials because I lived in New Jersey near the beach and they always had pass the butter please which was the it was a for suntan butter only they said pass the butter <laughs> the tanning butter right 